welcome to Cork. Don't judge me. If you haven't been getting ready inside a bathroom while traveling, you haven't been traveling. <laughs> Um, the plow was to eat by the river, so I'm just sitting here eating crackers and mackerel. So my real lunch is gonna be eaten later because it's not really lunchtime yet. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just listening because I don't want anybody running in on me because I just arrived in a hostel and I don't want to seem weird to anybody sleeping in the room with me. Like, who's this girl talking to her camera? Okay, so I'm here in Cork. I just got uh, changed in actually my pyjama shirt because I totally underestimated the weather. It's so hot outside. I can't go on wearing long sleeves anymore. So I just changed into my pyjama shirt because that's the only like short sleeve shirt I have. <laughs> I've been here in Cork since 11 a.m. and I've been just wondering about how you probably saw in in the video. It's a really really nice city. It has like a kind of, it's it's, it's weird because I'm still in Ireland and I'm not that far away from Dublin obviously, but it still has such a different feel to it that I'm instantly feeling like I'm really traveling, which I am. But it's just like it's still the same country and everything, but it's, it has like such a different feel. I'd even say it feels a lot different to Galway. So I think Galway feels a little bit more, I don't know, like traditionally Gaelic Irish since it is obviously also more in the region where Gaelic is still spoken and everything but Cork kind of has more like a I kind of even want to say Mediterranean feel to it since there's so many just like side streets with cute cafes and the weather was so nice today so maybe that played into it. It's a city that has kind of an open vibe about it. I even say I prefer to Galway and obviously I can't speak for staying longer in the city because I've been to Galway what twice this is my first time here in Cork, but I, I think when you're traveling, you kind of get a feel for the city when you first arrive. Like, it's just like the vibe, you know? It's kind of like when you meet another person, you kind of get a, a vibe from them. And I always get vibes from different cities where I travel to. I probably look like dead because I am dead. I just carried around my 10 kilo backpack through the whole city for f four hours. So my back is like I, I wore the wrong bra as well. This is this might be TMI, but I didn't wear a sports bra today, which I usually do when I travel, and that was a mistake. Remember, girls always wear a sports bra when you travel, because else you're just gonna you're just gonna die, you know. You know, I'm just gonna get everything sorted out because you 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 might not see it right now with this angle. But 
yeah, so I'm just gonna sort everything out and then I'm gonna go back to sightseeing till the evening. Also, I don't know about the bed arrangement because my bed is here and there's like a bed right next to me. And the person who sleeps there, her feet are gonna be right in my face, so and see you later. Welcome back. Today is a new day. I've just gotten out of the hostel and everything. And today we're gonna go to Blarney Castle. So let's go. First, I'm gonna just grab some something to eat because I want to have a picnic there. Because I heard the gardens there are supposed to be so, so nice. So we're just gonna go to a spa first and buy myself some picnic. <laughs> yeah. Also, can everybody please excuse my hair today? I know it looks like I, I don't know, exploded or touched something electric and probably that's what I did in my sleep, unknowingly. stone. It was actually more physically taxing than I imagined but I did it. I think it was because I was so small so I had to bend down lower. But I did it! Okay so the further plan for today will literally be dependent on when I'll arrive back in Cork because right now I'm just kind of exploring the the, the Blarney Castle Gardens because it's such a big area you have no idea but uh, what I want to say here is that it really truly kind of feels like a magical place like I've been to many like castles where they say ooh this is magical and ooh this and that legend and this is one of those castles where it really feels like the legend might have some truth to it it really has a nice magical feel I don't know if it was worth the admission price though because I had to pay 18 euro and I think that's a pretty high price but just it's kind of like been on my to-do list since coming to Ireland to kiss the Blarney Stone and everything so I had to come here obviously. Anyway, uh, the further plan for today will depend on when I arrive back in Cork because if it is before 2 or around 2 o'clock I might still go to Cope by train or Cop. Probably pronouncing it wrong anyway since it's a Gaelic pronunciation but that's one of the kind of like smaller seaside villages here around Cork and you can go there by train. Um, so if I still have time I might do that because my bus back to Dublin is only at 18, so 6pm. Um, so yeah, it's like a loads of time I feel like. Yeah, let's do some exploring. <laughs>
Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, I'm just tuning in right now from editing this video and I realized I haven't really finished any outro or anything at all and I don't want to just end it like cut, okay, the end. Um, so I just want to thank everybody for watching this video. I also want to say concluding this trip, um, I've had the best time in Cork. I have to say though my highlight was probably the last thing you saw, like the little city cope or something or however you pronounce it, but that was Honestly, so stunning, so beautiful. I don't know if it was because it was by the sea and I'm always just more intrigued by cities that are by the sea and everything. Um, but that city was so beautiful, so picturesque. I could really, like, if you're in Cork, please go there. It's really such a nice place. Um, and yeah. Okay, everybody, that's it. Have a nice day and bye. Leave a back on my channel.